Signal transduction is a method of communication used by cells in which extracellular signals, or signals outside of the cell, are converted into intracellular signals, or signals inside the cell. That, in turn, generates a cascade of specific cellular responses. It is needed when a signaling substance, such as a hormone or a neurotransmitter, cannot pass directly through a cell membrane. For example, protein-based hormones, which are hydrophilic and polar, cannot cross the lipid and nonpolar membranes, and must therefore use signal transduction to transmit their messages. Now, let's see how this process works with the hormone epinephrine in a liver cell. First, epinephrine binds to a specific receptor protein in the liver cell's cell membrane, causing the protein to undergo a conformational change or a change in its shape. This activates a cytoplasmic signal, usually the activation of a G protein. The G protein binds to the receptor protein and exchanges a molecule of GDP for a molecule of GTP. The GTP turns on the G protein, allowing the G protein to release from the receptor protein and to activate an enzyme called adenocyclase. Adenocyclase then converts ATP molecules to cyclic AMP which acts as a secondary messenger to send the signal to the interior of the cell. The CAMP molecules activate other enzymes known as kinases, such as protein kinase A or phosphorylase kinase, which then activate more kinases. Eventually, these activated enzymes produce an action in the cell. In this case, it causes the liver cell to start converting glycogen into glucose. Because of this cascade of reactions, Signal transduction is very useful in conducting a fast response. In each step, the original hormone signal is amplified. Also, since the method uses little amounts of hormone to create a large effect, the body does not need to waste time and energy producing a lot of that hormone. A single molecule of epinephrine can stimulate a giant response in a cell.